Hey, it's Vanessa from CraftyGemini.com and today we have a quick tutorial that's going to be beneficial to you whether you sew, quilt, or just love to make handmade crafts at home. What I'm talking about is your very own handmade labels. Instead of being handwritten, this is going to be printed using an inkjet printer. It's permanent and it looks a lot neater and you can basically decorate it however you want using any word processing program that you have on your computer. So all you're going to need is a regular blank sheet of paper, printer paper, um, a chunk of freezer paper. If you don't know what freezer paper is, they sell it in your grocery stores literally to wrap things and put it in the freezer. So it has a waxy side to one side and just a slick surface on the other. So that's that. And then we'll also need a glue stick and your inkjet printer. Let's get started. So let's get started. First thing we have to do is to glue our freezer paper down to the regular printer paper sheet we have here. Remember I said there's two sides to this freezer paper. One is shinier than the other, I would say. So the shiniest side, you want it facing you. So we're going to glue the back side of it, okay? And just put some glue. Just enough so it can hold down. Make sure you get those edges. You don't want it to get caught in your printer, okay? I like to center it just because most of the labels that I print out will be centered and that way I know it will come out exactly where I want it. Okay, so that's the first step. Now we're ready to stick our fabric onto here. So here's our sheet of printer paper with the freezer paper glued onto it. Now I have the piece of fabric that I want my label to be printed on. I'm going to center it here. I mean, it doesn't have to be centered, but you want to place it wherever it's going to be. You want to make sure that you're formatting your text in your word processing system so that it can come out obviously where the fabric is going to be. So we have the shiniest part of the freezer paper facing us because when you hit an iron to this shiny side and fabric, it will actually adhere the fabric to it temporarily. So instead of, you know, since I have this exposed here, what I'm going to do is hold it there, flip it over, okay, and try to put it where I want it. Now I'm going to hit it with an iron from the back side. The reason I do it from the back is that I don't want my iron to hit the shiny side of the freezer paper, okay? It'll get kind of sticky. So just hit it with a hot iron and you see the fabric is stuck on there, okay? So this is what you want. And now just to show you, it's temporarily, okay? It comes off and on. There's no adhesive or anything. It's just that the slick surface of the freezer paper will hold it. So again, put it where I want it, anywhere there. It doesn't have to be exact, okay? Um, what you want to do is cut a piece of fabric that's bigger than what you want so that after the text is printed on there, you can then trim it to the exact size that you want, okay, to put it on whatever project. Now we're ready to put this in the printer. So here I have a Microsoft Word document opened up, and I've typed in what I want my label to say in whatever font size that I want, and looking at my paper here, I see that my fabric is a little bit ways down from the top of the sheet. So I'm going to hit return a couple times and kind of just estimate where it's going to come out on the sheet, okay? And that I think will be about right, especially since I have some extra fabric to play with. Okay, now we'll insert the paper in the printer. Now my particular printer takes the pages like this and it's going to print this way. So figure out which way you have to put it. Some printers you may have to insert it this way so that it prints on the other. I don't know. But whichever way it does it, figure out how your printer works. Mine works like this. And since we have the freezer paper adhered to the, sh to the regular sheet of paper and the fabric adhered to that, this is all going to slide in as one continuous sheet of paper. So we'll put that there. Let me go to my computer and hit print. I'm printing it in black ink and you can do it in whatever ink. As long as it's an inkjet printer, this technique will work. Here's the sheet as it came out of the printer. Now what we have to do is peel our fabric off. Remember I said there's no adhesive, okay? Just temporarily holds it there. Next step is to hit it with a hot iron, no steam, just hit it with a hot iron because you want the ink from the printer to set in. So just hold it there. I like to do this for about 15 to 20 seconds. Make sure you don't burn your fabric, but just hold it in there and you want to make sure that the ink sets in well. And this, if you want to put it on an article of clothing for a child maybe, a backpack, an art apron, anything like that for school, this will stay and even through washes and dries, the ink is permanently in there, okay? Just make sure you use an inkjet printer. So I'll just hit it like that, make sure that I set that in place. 
And now all you have to do is trim it around and stick it to whatever you want to put it on. Okay, whether you want the raw edges sticking out, maybe hem it under, and then adhere it to your project, but it's pretty much a fabric label that's typed up any way you want. It's free, and you have the materials right in your own home. Enjoy!